Yeah. YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to the freaking channel. Uh, it is uh, icy winter craziness out here. Uh, I have refilmed this thing twice. I had a I had an intro done. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has recently subscribed to the channel. To everybody who is um, who is taking your time out of the day to watch our videos. To Oh my gosh, uh, to like, to subscribe, seriously, it means the absolute world to me. We just hit 10,000 subs this morning, and my goal for 2021, which people thought it, I'm crazy, was 100K. I never in a million years did I think that we would be at 10,000 this quickly. Huge shout out to Stradman, Burlacker, Summit Auto Labs, all the people that have been sharing our videos, that have been posting the videos that we did with them. It means the absolute world. Uh, to me, my family, uh, my wife loves watching the whole how all this is going because I've had all this in my head. Uh, but today, unfortunately, we do have to go over um, some some not so great news. Right before we left for Utah, we started pulling the wrap off of the Lamborghini, and unfortunately, we found some pretty major issues with uh, what with what happened under the wrap. So I'm going to show you guys some video that I took before of us um, getting some of the wrap off. My little, my little girl helping me get some of the wrap up. And now we have a huge decision to make and I need you guys' help. A lot of people have Huracans. What I like about my, uh, about the Gallardo is that this is a gated six speed. It does have the LP front. It is a pre LP, it is a 2004. I have put, it is up to 50,000 miles. We've done a clutch. Um, we've done axles. We've done uh, drive shaft shop axles. Everything that ever has gone wrong with this car, we have upgraded that with the best option. This is thank you to B Rogue. This is the best exhaust you can buy for one of these cars is the titanium B Rogue exhaust. It makes it sound phenomenal. We're gonna go over some of the damage we found. A handful of cut marks, the glass is cut. We've got some spots that were sanded down on the car. But now the decision we have to make is do we sell the Gallardo and move into a Huracan? Now, there's a lot of Huracans out there, and what I do not want is a car like everybody else's. So, I would need, so my, my kind of dream car would be a 580-2, and then um, maybe Liberty Walked, maybe Twin Turbo. Um, I don't know, it would kind of, for now, it would have to be one or the other, because uh, I cannot afford to I don't have like a Ventador money. I don't have twin turbo wide body money. I would have to get rid of the Gallardo to make it a comfortable purchase to move up into um, a Huracan. So I will always be super transparent with you guys on this, on, on this channel and I will break everything down for you the way that it really is. Dude, shout out to Stradman. Check out this backpack. It's freaking sweet. I bought two of them for my kids uh, and I already stole one of them. Uh, from my daughter. So you guys gotta help me. Drop a comment below. Let me know. Do, do we keep the gated six speed rear wheel drive Gallardo? Do we get it rewrapped? Do we boost this one? I know that that's uh, even B Rogue doesn't really want anything to do with boosting these things anymore because they're a ton of work and they're super time consuming. I don't know. I think if the right deal comes up or maybe, hey, Bur Burlacker needs. So Burlacker was talking about wanting a Gallardo, but Burlacker's tall. I'm not tall. I fit in the Gallardo perfect, but check this out. In here, I have a Technocraft one-piece carbon seat. This is a custom fit seat. With the slider, this allows this seat to go like... Dude, it goes way back. Well, I can touch the pedals, but I, I can't push the clutch into the floor. We could get a custom seat made for him, and I think he would fit. So you guys need to go over to his page, and you need to comment that he needs to buy this car, and then, uh, then we'll get a Huracan. It's easy as that. All right, so without further ado, up, up, up. here's some video of unwrapping the Gallardo. Oh my gosh, no way.
Okay, so here's some of the stuff I'm using. Ooh, that's hot. To remove the wrap is gonna be infrared lights. Help a ton. This little thing kicks off insane heat. Almost too much. You have to be <laughs> You have to be super careful you don't melt stuff, but heat helps a ton. If you are in a warm climate and you can get it in the sun, the sun makes wraps come off so easy. And here is some of the stuff we are finding. Cut marks, there's not a ton of cut marks. I can say so far with what we have off of the wrap right now, it's a lot better than what I thought at the beginning because the first place that I pulled the wrap from was right here. And look at this. So, I'm not gonna say any names. It's very hard to see here, but this has all been sanded down on the body line. I don't know if that's to get the wrap to stick. Let me see if I can get you guys a better angle. Like, this is sanded. Like, through the paint, through the clear coat. Look okay. at, see this? Absolutely mind-boggling to me why someone would do that to someone else's vehicle, especially when like, the paint job on this is not cheap and the paint was good underneath it. So this is my own, this is my own deal. Uh, these were putting sea suckers on and obviously it uh, pulled the wrap. Not a big deal. I knew that, I knew there was a possibility of that happening. You'll see some stuff like this. If you look at this window, shut the door baby. Shut it. Watch your fingers. So if you look right here at the glass, see that? And that is a cut from a razor blade. So that's no bueno. Got a pretty good ding here. I'm gonna get that taken out. There's another little tiny razor cut right here uh, from when they were detailing, detail cutting in here. I don't know how to wrap a vehicle. So uh, I can't say what the best practice is, uh, but I can tell you one thing. When mine was done, it was not done well. So I'm gonna keep going here, get the rest of this wrap off, see what else we've come up with, and then I'm gonna make a decision. I don't know if I'm gonna sell All right, so with unwrapping the Gallardo, <laughs> kind of went over some of the stuff we found here. Um, we've got a handful of stuff we're gonna get taken care of. I think I've, I've come up with the executive decision that I'm gonna bring this car in. We're gonna get uh, these spots I showed you here where it's been sanded down. We're gonna see what they can do with paint correction. We're gonna pull the rest of these panels off. We got her, she, she ripped apart now. We're gonna get as much of this wrap off as we can. You know, we've got all this stuff. It was fully taken apart when it was installed. We're gonna get it off from around here. We're gonna check all of the paint and then we're gonna get all of the wrap off. I think I'm probably gonna leave the deck lid and the hood in carbon, just because I do know that the deck lid and the hood are both in perfect condition. And, uh, and, and I really think the carbon looks good. The front bumper on this is an LP front bumper. It's not a pre-LP like the car is. So, um, it is black. I do have a factory LP silver paint matched, uh, or pre-LP front bumper that whoever gets the car, if I do sell it, they would get that with it. They would get the all wheel drive system. They would get everything that comes with the car. I would get the front bumper redone for whoever wants it, but I would leave it like this. And then I would also wrap the roof in carbon. I had taken it off because we do have one little dent here that we have to get removed. So I wanted to get the carbon or all the wrap off the top. That way we can really check it out. We can make sure that there's no other blemishes. I'm gonna get it, we're gonna get it all paint corrected and then we're gonna see what happens. And uh, maybe we'll sell it. Maybe we'll buy a Huracan. I wish I could afford an Aventador, uh, but my kids, they eat like every day and they, it's ridiculous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it is, a, we're gonna have limo content coming for you so soon. I'm actually going tomorrow morning. So the next video will be a full rundown of everything that we're gonna be fixing on the limo. Maybe some straight pipes, I have no idea. I've gotta get over to the shop where the limo is and we're gonna go over everything with you with the limo. I'm gonna show you a bunch of, Am we went Amazon buck wild and I'm gonna show you a bunch of that. We're gonna open up all that stuff, get a good game plan of what we're gonna do with the limo and yeah, so stay tuned. 
Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for all the new subscribers. It truly does mean the world to me. And um, it, this is, I can't even thank you guys enough. So with that, I am out. Peace.